That's when you thought the whole Bonnie Blue and Scully's thing couldn't get any worse. Ah, let me tell you, it gets worse. So there is a creator in here that I used to be friends with and I'm now deciding to come on here and call them out because I'm sick of their behavior. Now, they are a creator that is going around trying to promote and sleep with 18-year-olds that have just finished school. PSA, boys, do a background check on the creators that you're working with because they may have been assigned a different gender at birth. Now, I would never usually call anyone out on these grounds, but if you're going to go sleep with a bunch of freshly 18-year-olds, they might want to know that you were actually born a different gender because it may cause them a few mental health problems and there's some kind of information that I think they should be open to having. Yes, indeed. I'm not joking. I'm polite like that. Thus, it's far for me to make fun of other people. But here is the beautiful woman in question. You know, sometimes you win people over and other times you break them. Greetings. And welcome back to the channel, everyone. We'll see in today's video that males are starting to set the age limit on dating apps at 34, which has modern women furious. Let's begin then. Hey. I want to talk to y'all about something funny, but also top of something that a lot of people have been tagging me in and are dying to know my thoughts. And it's on the women in male fields trend. I think it's hilarious. Long and short of it. Hilarious. Anything that ruffles the feathers of the most mediocre bitch dude you know. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna co-sign it. For sure I am. <laughs> but all of that being said, I have seen a couple of videos where men are trying to like do the reverse trend of it. Which, by the way, they ruin everything. <laughs> it's crazy how they make everything not funny immediately. Ah, uh, joke's dead. Sorry. Do y'all remember when people would say, you killed it. You killed it. Sorry. You killed it. Let's bring that back. You know what? I'm gonna bring it back. <laughs> but I digress. You know what I mean? I saw one of a guy saying, when women come up to me, I say I have a girlfriend and I really don't. I just think you're fat and ugly and I don't want you to talk to me. And then he hashtagged men and women fields or whatever the fuck. It was grammatically incorrect. That's why my brain didn't absorb it because I'm not fucking stupid. But I saw that video and a couple others similar to that. And it all has to do with when women approach me. Stop. Pause. We tell him lies. <laughs> I saw what you look like. Yeah, I'm, ha I'm having a hard time uh, believing you, player. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest with you. Hey, you're a liar. <laughs> when a woman approached you, was she working a kiosk? Was she selling Avon? Yeah, then I'd believe you. You know what I mean? The only time a bitch is approaching you is to convert you to Jehovah's Witness. <laughs> no bitches are approaching you. That's a lie. Yeah. In order for the joke to be funny, it has to make sense. That's why it's funny. A part of it has to be rooted in reality. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, awful fucking men that look like the Fooglies floop would create with that little ball of clay. Yeah, no one's approaching you, bitch. I can tell you that confidently. <laughs> just once, I would love for women on this app or anyone that's just not an awful fucking cis straight man to be able to do a trend, start a trend, have fun with a trend without men coming in here and fucking ruining it. Oh, uh, <laughs> Every time straight awful men join a joke. Uh, time to move on to the next one. <laughs> but other than that, all the other jokes, hilarious. Love them. Keep it up, team. <laughs> Anyways, that's it. Love you. Bye. Whoa. Kudos on finding your new personality trait, really groundbreaking stuff, in roasting average males. Let's break it down, though. It is the height of irony to scream that men ruin everything while giving a monologue that is longer than a poorly done open mic set. Regarding the question, are jokes dead? Well, if your delivery is typical, then sure, they may require CPR. And the man who claims that ladies come to him only to be roasted by him? Bless his illusions. He is the only one speaking, possibly with the exception of his mother, asking whether he wants to eat supper in the basement, and trying to make a point by dragging grammar. When your roast is already undercooked, it's a bold move. But keep trying to be funny. Practice makes perfect. After this guy on Hinge, and we were chatting, but he was seeming a little bit like a negative Nancy, we ended up exchanging Instagrams, and he messaged me, and he's like, so what's your review? And I was like, oh, you seem like active, like you seem like an on-the-go type of guy. And he was like, okay, like I rate yours this, and then was like, um, I deducted point for influencer vibes. And he said like other stuff, and I responded, I was like, oh, I like, do not like influencer vibes. And he was like, social media, I don't really like social media. And I was like, what does that have to do with me? Anyway, ew, because why are you so opinionated and judgmental on someone that you've never even met? Where do you do that? Men's City. I'm always amazed by that. He has views. How dare he? What? Does the fact that he dislikes influencer vibes have anything to do with you or your status as a prospective influencer? So perhaps that. 
Meanwhile, the holidays, the most amazing time of year for some and the most terrible for others, will arrive in a little more than a month. Additionally, this is a female dating profile. I'll read it aloud so that everyone can listen. I'm trying to find a date for the December 10th Christmas party at my workplace. I assumed you girls were on the four-day thing, but these are just serious questions. Is it truly over, even before it began? Dating gets significantly harder on apps if you're a woman over the age of 35. I have a theory that men are setting their age ranges to end at 35 or 34. So I went back on dating apps at 34, about nine months after I separated from my husband. At 34, I had a lot of prospects. Like, I have pretty privilege, I will admit that. I admit that I am an attractive, stereotypically attractive woman in society. It was great when you were 34. My birthday was four months later um, when I turned 35. Um, but there was a little bit of a change in the men I was being sort of exposed to, as it were, and shown on dating apps. But the massive change came when I turned 36 earlier this year. And I have noticed such an extreme drop off of men. Not that I'm that bothered because People are people, I fall in love with people, but I have noticed it and it is really harmful and it upsets me because I am somebody who is childless, not by choice. I had two miscarriages. I, my husband left me after the second one. I am not somebody who kids is on the agenda for because I don't know if I can carry them, but I have noticed that I am being filtered out. And I have a theory, please comment if you agree with this. And this is because of the actual incorrect belief that all women over 35 are thinking biological clock, marriage, kids, babies, or we have babies, or they'd be right in thinking that I'm divorced and have a lot of trauma. Correct, which is why I'm off apps at the moment to fix some of that. But it makes me really angry and really sad that our society is indoctrinating men and women and everybody to believe that biological clock is so, so terribly bad after 35, because that actually isn't true. Lots of data on the fact that, oh, fertility declines at 35, but you've got to understand, you've got to have a PhD in research to understand data, to understand that we actually don't know that. The data shows that, but that's because everybody's been pressurized to get married and have kids before that. So the people who don't have fertility problems and I would count myself as somebody who does have fertility problems, but the people who don't have fertility problems have rushed to have kids because of the 35. All of us are rushing. And then the people that are left after 35 in our data set, in our society, are more skewed, so more likely to have people in it who can't have kids anyway. And this could have been something that is present in them throughout, or just more likely to have problems in later age. The funny thing is, to do this experiment properly, you would have to stop everyone from having any children till 35 and then be like, go fuck. <laughs> and then see how many people could have children. And that's the only way we can definitively say that your biological ability to have children decreases up to 35. Some women, you hear these stories, there are so many women who successfully naturally have children up into their 40s. And the problem we have is we don't have the data enough of the data because everyone's rushing to do it before 35. And this manifests itself in men thinking you're over the hill at 35 because women feel under pressure at 35 to have children. So to anybody dating me or wants to date me, I am not wanting to get pregnant. I am in no rush. I don't even know if I want children, yet I'm still being filtered out. And I don't know if I look 35, I think I do look 35, 36. I don't behave, definitely don't behave like a 35, 36 year old because I'm a massive child. And it just, it makes me sad because, because I'm swiping on people, men, women, non-binary people who don't care about that. I actually gain from a big section of people who are probably negative for me, swiping off me, fine. But what makes me sad is people who are straight, straight women in particular, whose only option is cis straight men, but also who have internalized this more importantly, who have internalized that they are in a rush and they might not have children. And it makes me really sad. So I wanted to come on here and talk about this a little bit because you're not over the hill. You're not destined to be childless at 35, 36. Like you, 
you are okay. You can still have them. You might have difficulties, but you might not. And please take this pressure off yourself. If you're a straight dude who is doing this, who's stopping at 35, and you are older than 35, or in your early mid-30s yourself, I please go to therapy because I would question why you are wanting someone who's less mature than you. And anybody who talks to me about evolution and attractiveness and biology, I'll give you a lesson in <laughs> sexual evolutionary anthropology and uh, will discredit anything that you say. So please don't comment that. I'll probably just delete it. Let me know what you think about this. Only kindly, any misogynistic, trolly weirdos in the comments, I'll just delete you, so don't even bother. Let me know what you think. Do you suffer with this? Is it something you think about? And if it is, and if you suffer and you're struggling, massive hugs and massive cuddles because it feels shit. Um, it feels shit to have the only defining characteristic of our age and we're being so ruthlessly pushed aside. The fact is that women have been establishing norms for many years. Minimum height requirements, income levels, lifestyle choices, and no one gives a damn. But it's suddenly a concern now that guys are capping age. Let's take a moment to be realistic. The rules of biology are not man-made. It's simply the current situation. Men are taking into account fertility and the fact that they have a biological clock, especially if they wish to start a family. Is it just? The point isn't even that. It's the truth. Nevertheless, some women behave like males. Recognizing this fact is an assault on them. Because guys are capping their dating app filters at age 34, this specific woman is furious. However, I would like to know if she is upset at the age restriction or because it feels like accountability. Sneaking in? Women have been told for years that they may put their professions first, wait it out, and find love later. However, the high-value, family-oriented guys they desire are picking younger women, which highlights the problems with that story. Not to mention that women frequently create their own dating filters. We've heard the phrase, I won't date a man under six feet, a lot. Alternatively, swipe left if he isn't earning six figures. As long as women are the ones enforcing the preferences, they are acceptable. However, Males are branded as shallow or misogynistic when they set their own standards, whether they be related to age, lifestyle, or ideals. Now more than ever, women are fed up with men. We have been for a long time now, but given the political climate and the 4B movement, like, you know, making its way to the U.S., it's like, now is really not the time to test us. I'm going to say something that might be controversial to some people, but I personally believe that this is true. And before you make any assumptions about me, I'm 35 years old. I've given birth, I've gone through postpartum, I know what it's like to be a mom, I've gone through breakups, I have lived with a man, I know what men are capable of and it is actually so scary. And I have a little boy, so when I speak about men, it's really not coming from a place of just wanting to hate on all men. I have a son. I'm genuinely sorry for him. You already despise all men, including your son. He will sense your animosity toward him, no matter how hard you try to hide it. And the only thing that has been wrong with him is what he has been doing. That would therefore be an excuse. Yes, I do not despise him, just all the other men on the earth. I apologize. That will not succeed. You won't be the only mother to despise her son for being a man, or even just a boy. You won't be the last, which is bad. That's everything for today, guys. Please remember to like and subscribe to our channel. Till then, take care and goodbye. We'll see you in the next video.